Hi there! The default navigation menu in ThingsBoard is thoughtful, intuitive, and provides access to all areas of your instance. But what if you want to add quick access to a frequently used dashboard or an external analytics page? In this video, I'll walk you through the custom menu feature, a powerful tool that lets you extend and tailor the main navigation menu in ThingsBoard to meet your own needs or those of specific users, offering an additional level of personalization. To show this functionality in its full capacity, let's create a custom menu from scratch for a tenant user I previously created. Go to the Custom Menu tab under the white labeling page and click the plus icon in the top right corner. In the pop-up window, enter a name for the menu. I'll name it Tenants Custom Menu. Next, you need to define the scope of the menu, whether it should apply to a tenant or a customer. In our case, I'll leave it as Tenant. Now you need to specify a particular user or a list of users for the custom menu. This step is optional. You can assign users later after the menu has been configured. However, in our case, I'll go ahead and assign the tenant user right away so we can immediately see the result of our menu configuration. Now click Add to create the new custom menu. Once created, the new menu will immediately appear in the list. To edit the name, Click the pencil icon next to the custom menu name. The group icon opens the Assignees Management menu, where you can change the settings we've just touched on the creation stage. Finally, if you need to delete the menu, click the trash bin icon to the right. To open the editor menu, click the pencil icon in the right part of the menu row. Here, you'll see the complete list of menu elements, including those hidden within expandable tabs. You can manually show or hide any menu items using toggle switches. But since we're building the menu from scratch, let's hide all items at once by clicking the Hide All Menu Items button at the top. This will hide all menu items except for Home, which always remains visible. However, you can rename it or assign a specific dashboard to it. If you ever need to reset a menu item to its default state, simply click the broom icon next to the pencil icon. The Show Hidden Items toggle reveals all hidden elements in the Settings window, allowing you to re-enable necessary menu items or configure new ones. Let's add a selection of items that are useful for day-to-day -day tasks. I'll choose Alarms, Entities with the Devices, and the All tab underneath it, and the Notification Center with all its tabs. Click Save to apply and preview the updated menu. You can modify the appearance of the already present menu elements. Next to the toggle switch for the menu elements, you can notice the icon configuration button. I'll choose the other symbol for the alarms tab and click save to apply the change. At the left edge of each menu element, you can see a two by three dot symbol. That is a handle to drag and drop menu elements, rearranging them to your liking. I will pull the home tab beneath the alarms and click save to visualize this new positioning. Moving further to the right, you'll find an empty text field where you can rename menu elements. For example, I'll change the Alarms tab to Urgent Notifications and click Save to see the new name appearing in the menu. It is also possible to assign an I18N key into that field. We explained this topic in detail in the video by the pop-up link you see right now. In addition to modifying existing menu elements, you can also add your own. Hover over the area between the two tabs. You will see the Add Custom Menu line, which has a duplicate button in the menu. Click it to open the item creation window. Let's add a menu item that links to an external website. The default window is set up for exactly that. I'll give this item a name. Let's go with GitHub repository. And in the URL field, I'll paste the desired link, which in my case is the URL of the ThingsBoard GitHub repository. Click Add, then hit Save to make the new menu item appear for the user. Next, let's make a new menu section that will contain the user's dashboards. I click the Add Custom Menu item once again, and in here, I will go for Section Mode on the selection in the middle right part. That shrinks down the number of available settings only to the icon, element name, and visibility. I will select an icon and give the element a name, My Dashboards. Click Add to add the new element to the menu. Please note, for a section to be displayed in the main menu, it must contain at least one sub-item. Let's add one right now. Click the Add Sub-Item Menu button, and you will see the familiar menu item creation window. I will go for the dashboard mode. 
where I will select a dashboard from the drop-down menu. For the name, I will copy and paste the name of the dashboard that I've picked. Click Add, and now the menu element is fully functional. Click Save to see the new element in the menu. To remove the created element or menu section, click the trash bin icon in the right part of the element. But if you want to reset the custom menu to default, click the Reset to Default menu button in the upper right corner. For ones who watched the video this far, here is a bonus tip about editing custom menu settings safely. Avoid assigning the custom menu you're editing to the profile you're currently using. That is because if you happen to disable white labeling section, there will be no visible button to open the custom menu settings anymore, so you're effectively soft blocking yourself. But there is a mitigation for that. I will put a URL path to the custom menu section. You can paste this path next to the root domain of your ThingsBoard instance and get to the menu settings no matter what. That wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching it all the way to the end. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to share them in the comments section below. I see you in the next video.